today we're talking about a land uh, composite. More accurately, uh, we will do an in-depth look into the composite knowledge and techniques that are used in uh, construction of the land yachts. This year, we're celebrating the 75th anniversary of Elan Yachts, so it's only fitting to delve into the history and legacy of Elan's composite work. Uh, the first products that were, that were made out of a GRP uh, or a glass reinforced plastic emerged from Elan back in the 1960s. Initially, this uh, included skis as well as canoes and smaller boats. Elan then uh, quickly established a specialized composite workshop, crafting everything from OEM products uh, for the automotive industry to sports equipment and even some playground slides. Uh, but then, uh, due to rising demand, the company started to focus solely on skis and yachts. Elan's knowledge of uh, naval uh, composite work uh, expanded significantly. Elan emerged as one of the first shipyards to adopt vacuum-assisted infusion lamination technology back in 2003, setting a precedent as the first European mainstream uh, serial yacht manufacturer to implement this technique. Elan Marine's uh, expertise in composites even led to the establishment of a dedicated composite division, which now produces complex composite components for several industries, uh, notably the aeronautics, caravanning and wind power. What is Veil? Vacuum Assisted Infusion Lamination. Uh, well, traditionally, um, GRP is created by manually layering uh, resin saturated glass fibers on top of each other and using a hand roller to ensure that the layers are fully saturated. Then you wait for it to cure and the process is finished. Veil or vacuum assisted infusion lamination uh, represents a modern high-tech approach to lamination. Uh, and this is particularly significant in the maritime industry and within it even more so for sailing yachts. How it works is that you apply an intricate plan of glass fibers to a mold and then you cover that mold with a system of perforated resin distribution tubes and finish with making the whole thing airtight. Then you put one end of the tube system in resin, uh, well resin mixed with a catalyst, uh, while the other in a high force vacuum pump. The vacuum pump then pulls the resin throughout the fibers and the tubes distributed. The advantages of vacuum assisted infusion lamination are numerous. Firstly, um, it distributes the resin evenly throughout the GRP, ensuring complete saturation uh, and eliminating the risk of uh, incomplete fusion. Uh, secondly, it uses only the necessary amount of resin, reducing the weight and resin use. Thirdly, uh, this method also ensures consistent mechanical properties and negates human error, producing a perfect product every time. Lastly, it's much kinder to our workforce um, because they're not exposed to the resins as well as it is kinder to the environment. We use vacuum assisted infusion elimination for all our yacht hulls, um, and not only hulls, also the decks and some smaller parts like bathing platforms. But the whole process is more intricate. Um, when it comes to all of our exposed composites, and before the veil process even begins, we apply what's called the four laminate. The four laminate is, is essential as it prevents osmosis and ensures a beautiful hull surface. The way we make it is we first uh, spray a layer of white gel coat on the mold. Then we manually apply vinyl ester resin and saturate it into highly absorbent glass fiber. And we only use vinyl ester for four laminate. Then we wait for it to cure. Only after the four laminate has fully cured do we begin with dry layup of the laminate plan for the hull and that is then vacuum infused. The laminate plan is crucial in ensuring the hull possesses the correct stiffness and mechanical properties. 
we utilize a variety of glass fibers, including basic mats, as well as bi-axle, tri-axle, quadri-axle, and even unidirectional uh, fabrics. The decision on which type to use, where to use it, and how much to use, uh, and why, um, is a, you know, we, Elan, consider it a complex science that draws on both precise calculations that we do and our generational expertise. To go in a bit more detail, uh, especially when it comes to the glass fiber layout that we do. So we begin the layout process uh, on the top parts of the hull, specifically above the waterline, focusing on the flange and on the transom. The flange receives extra reinforcements with quadriaxial fabric, especially in the area where the shrouds meet the hull. Following this, the entire middle section of the yacht is also reinforced with the same fabric. We then apply different axial fabrics of various thicknesses uh, to the rest of the hull. This layering process is repeated until interweaving several layers to enhance the strength. Next, we incorporate different types of cell foam throughout the entire hull, followed by another layer of fabric, uh, woven fabric on, on top of the foam, creating a sort of a robust sandwich construction throughout. This method significantly increases the hull's stiffness multiple times over, you know, than that of a standard laminate, without adding the weight associated with multiple glass fiber layers. Additionally, this sandwich construction improves the yacht's interior insulation. Special attention is also given to reinforcing critical parts of the hull, such as the keel area, the rudders, and the sections that are especially burdened by rigging, you know, uh, and we do this to ensure, obviously, optimal strength and safety. Finally, after all of this layup is done, uh, then the vacuum does its job and saturates everything with either polyester or vinylester resin, depending on the choice of the owner of the consumer. Thank you, David. I'm here, however, to show you the latest and greatest in whale technology, which is 3D whale. And for that, let's go and check out our newly cured hull of a new Elan GT6 Explorer. We use 3D whale on all our boats to a variety extent, but on this particular, so GT6 Explorer, the technology is at its most advanced. Elan has introduced 3D vacuum assisted infusion lamination back in 2017, and since then it has developed and grown to the state seen here. Let me explain to you what it means. The 3D veil is a complex process. It creates vacuum-infused laminate that can extrude from the hull, creating a complex shapes. These enable the hull reinforcements that along with the hull serve as one, a single piece of laminate, ensuring the best possible mechanical properties. There are no gaps, no additional screws, no inserts or laminate. The hull stringers and reinforcements are one continuous laminate that ensures stiffness and safety. And that is possible only when companies have years of experience in veil technology. If we take a look, GT6 Explorer has lateral stringers at the aft close to the transom, providing stiffness to that part of the area. Then we have long horizontal stringers providing stiffness to the length of the hull. Here in the middle, you can see two vertical stringers that are carrying and distributing load coming from the rigging and chain plates. And finally, integrated reinforcement at the bottom of the hull, providing strength to the hull yacht and especially the keel area. Altogether, the 3D veil limits twisting, skewing, bending, shearing and flexing, mitigating structural fatigue and creating the most advanced 3D veil hull. There are, however, even more composite technologies employed at the land. David will tell us more about it. So we use uh, different styles, but um, let's say for, for non-exposed areas, such as the interior structure of the yacht and some smaller components, we still continue to rely on the hand layup. 
the skill of experienced technicians is crucial in creating a laminate that is lightweight, strong and functional, even though it's handmade. For our GT and E-Line, uh, we also laminate the bulkheads, but we used epoxy resin in this process. Okume plywood is a sandwich between two layers of fabric uh, that is pre-impregnated with epoxy resin. Uh, then a vacuum is applied uh, to press everything tightly together. The assembly is then placed between uh, two large heating elements to initiate the, the curing process of the epoxy resin. The cured bulkhead is subsequently laminated directly into the hull and deck, significantly enhancing the yacht's structural integrity.